Welcome back to IntelliPath's YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be learning about how to learn coding. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from us. In today's agenda, we'll be having a look at what is coding, online resources for coding, computer projects which will improve your resume and we'll take a look at a general roadmap which you need to follow. Lastly, we'll take a look at uh, tips and tricks. Let's go on to what is coding. Computer code is very important. Almost every electronic device you use relies on code. Let it be mobile phones, cameras, ovens, MP3 players, surveillance cameras and obviously computers. At first, the way things work can seem quite confusing. But when you break it down, it's actually simple. People who create code are called programmers, coders or developers. They all work with computers to create stuff like websites, apps and even games. In today's live, you'll learn what code is, what it's for and how to start learn coding yourself. Computers only understand something called the binary code, which is nothing but zeros and ones. It is also called as machine code. We can communicate with it by inputting a combination of the right sequence of zeros and ones. If you want to communicate with the computer to make it add two numbers, you would have to input a sequence of zeros and ones which look something like this. It is obviously very hard to understand and uh, remember this for humans. Unfortunately, computers only understand this language. Luckily, over time, programmers have made the task easy for us by creating programming languages like C, Java, Python and many others which resemble simple English. Programming languages provide an interface between coders or programmers and machine language. So, instead of using the zeros and ones or, or machine code, we can use programming language to communicate or you can say code with the computer. Now let's move on to online resources. HackerRank. HackerRank is one of the most useful websites on the internet since it provides a wide range of materials for new developers. It includes several fast crash courses such as 30 day challenges to obtain more programming language skills. It offers numerous programming languages for coding enthusiasts to learn more and invest their time. HackerRank is probably the best website for you to get hired by a company. Free CodeCamp Free CodeCamp is a non-profit organization that provides programmers and developers with some of the most useful content and resources. It has a lot of high quality posts, instructions and materials for beginners who want to practice and improve their coding skills. Some of their content include interactive learning web platforms for practicing web development using programming languages such as HTML, uh, CSS and JavaScript. There are numerous assignments and uh, practice questions that you can work on as well. IntelliPath IntelliPath's online programming courses offer you training on a variety of programming languages such as C, C++, R, Python, JavaScript and many more languages. The courses are for all skill levels. You can choose to learn any or all of the courses as per your wish. In these courses, you will uh, have free access to the entire course material, which you can refer to at any time. Geeks for Geeks. This is one of my favorite places to go for free information on a variety of programming languages and other coding topics. This in, it includes uh, well-written, well-considered and well-explained computer science and programming articles, quizzes, and uh, more help users acquire experience and improve their coding skills. This website can also be used to gain a better grasp of competitive programming and uh, participate in various competitions. It also covers the majority of the fundamentals needed for beginner level developers. W3 Schools W3 Schools is an online learning platform for web technology, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, JSON, PHP, Python, AngularJS, ReactJS, SQL, Bootstrap and many more languages related to web development. W3 Schools is one of the best places for developers to learn free information. It uses a document style approach to provide information as well as handy interactive code blocks which you can explore by clicking the try it yourself button. Stack Overflow Stack Overflow is a question and answer website for professional and enthusiastic programmers. It features questions and answers on a wide range of topics in computer programming. Users of Stack Overflow can earn reputation points and badges. For example, a person is awarded 10 reputation points for receiving an upvote on a question or an answer to the question and can receive badges for their valued contributions. Let's move on to computer languages. This is the list of the top programming languages as of 2021. The first leading the way is JavaScript, then followed by Python, HTML, CSS, Java, SQL, NoSQL, C Sharp, Rust, 
Perl and then last but not the least Go. Now we will take a look at some of the languages in brief. JavaScript. What this language is used for? JavaScript is used in web development, game development, mobile apps and building web servers. According to Stack Overflow's 2020 developer survey, JavaScript currently stands as the most commonly used language in the world, taking a whopping 69.7% of the share. JavaScript is a scripting language that is used to control the behavior of web pages. Coders can use it to construct dynamic web pages like animated pages, interactive maps and clickable buttons among other things. Combining HTML and CSS and JavaScript gives programmers more control over their websites and allows them to provide a better user experience in terms of navigability and readability. Python Python is used in backend development, data science and app development. Python is suitable for beginners and expert coders alike because it is one of the easiest languages to learn and use. The language comes with a large library of commands and tasks that are commonly used. Because of its interactive features, programmers may test their code as they go, saving time on writing and testing huge parts of code. Java Java is used for e-commerce, websites, fintech that is financial technology and app development. Java is a general use and object oriented programming language. In object oriented programming, developers can create objects that encompass functions and data, which can then be used to provide structure for programs and applications. Java's popularity is well deserved. It is a simple language to learn and use, has excellent security, and can manage large amounts of data. Java is an appropriate language for online finance because of these characteristics. Just a quick info, guys. Intellipad provides online training on top trending programming languages, mentored by industry experts. The course link is given in the description below. Now, let's continue with the session. And it is widely used in areas such as banking, billing and the stock market. Go. Go is used in system network programming, audio and video editing and big data. Go is a top tier computer programming language that was created at Google in 2007. The efficiency of Go is what sets it apart. It can run multiple processes at the same time. In terms of programming languages, it has a large vocabulary, which means it can display more data than any other languages. Now, moving on to the projects. One of the first and easiest projects you can make uh, is a website. Building a website or blog is one of the simplest projects that you can take on as your first project. Once you are familiar with the creation of websites, you can create other projects into the websites in the future. Game mods. Well, we all love playing computer games and everyone has their favorite game to play in their free time. Taking advantage of mixing pleasure with work and showcasing game mods that you made to your favorite game will have weightage on your resume. And of course, non-gaming companies will hire you for this as well. Creating gaming modifications can prove both hard skills and soft skills since it uses both of your creative thinking skills as well as your programming skills. Mobile apps. Creating a mobile app and putting it up on App Store or Play Store will surely add great value to your resume. Creating a simple app like another list app or a timer app is not gonna cut it. Well, you can start off with those simple ones, but if you're gonna put one of those on your resume, it has to be more complex. Web scraping. So you have two options here. Either create a website that uses the scrape data for some purpose or automate the scraping applications to do something with the data on its own. For example, scraping the news and posting the top three articles on your social media feed or any other stuff like that. Business process management system. Everyone is interested in a system or a program that can make their life easier. Business processes are a great source of tasks and operations that can usually be computerized through proper software. Business processes can be very lengthy and complicated, so start off with a smaller chunk. For example, HR dashboards can be very complicated, but you can tackle creating software for just timesheet management or calculating the overtime of employees. Now, let's move on to roadmap. The first step in the roadmap is to choose the right language and the learning resources. After taking a look at the languages just explained, choose one which is right for you and then click an online platform that has the best resources for that particular language. Download a code editor and IDE that you can use for writing code. 
IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. It basically is a software that is used to practice your coding and get your code running in a simple way. Create a GitHub account and upload your projects. GitHub is a place where you can upload your code and it can be viewed by anyone on the internet. It is a very good place to interact with other enthusiastic programmers. Test the code created by others and then contribute to it. You can get your code created by others on GitHub or any other place like GitHub. After looking at the code, if you think you can improve it, you can certainly do so. Contributing to open source software will gain importance on your resume. Join online forums and communities to learn from experienced developers and connect with peer networks. Reddit.com slash r slash learning programming. This is a subreddit for all questions related to programming in any language. And also, obviously, Stack Overflow is the largest and most trusted online community for developers to learn, share their programming knowledge and build their careers. Now, let's move on to tips and tricks. The first and the most important trick that you need to learn is learning how to Google. The key skill the best developers process is to find the solution to a problem that they are facing online. Sometimes the problem in your hand cannot be put into words or you cannot form a question around it. This is where your googling skills comes into the picture. One trick here is to put the search string within quotation marks. For example, if you want to search WHO meeting on COVID-19, the Google may show results which are scrambled which may not be in the same sequence. But if you put it within quotation marks, Google will give you results which is in the same sequence. This will make sure that the result will contain only strings that will occur in the same order. Another trick here is, if you want to search a PDF file or a textbook or some any other material, you have to tell Google that you're looking for a material in PDF format only. You can do this by prefixing PDF colon followed by name of the material. Next step is learn by failing. It is okay not to understand things sometimes, Developers make mistakes all the time and you can't know everything at the beginning of your learning path. If you get stuck somewhere and try researching about it, find a solution and get your way out of it. No matter how you find your way, just don't copy and paste the solution you find. By this, you are only fooling yourself that you are getting better at programming. So please don't do that. Document your programming journey. Whenever you get stuck and find a solution to it, make sure you write down the approach you took to solve that issue. This helps you in the long run. Let it be the case where you come across the same problem in the future or if anyone else you know faces the same problem. Documenting also helps you remember solutions for a long time. The fourth trick is to find people with similar interests. The best way to learn is being around people with similar interests. They motivate you to stay on track and it is more fun learning together. If you can't find someone with similar interests, just join some online communities like Facebook groups, online forums and discussion groups. Better your workflow. Once you learn to do a task from scratch for the first time, it will be hard and time consuming. Learning to do a task is not enough. You need to learn to do it in less time and with less stress. For example, if you learn JavaScript, you can code everything by just learning the plain JavaScript language. But if you learn a framework that is built for JavaScript, then it will make your life easier. Now let's move on to further learning. You can find blogs related to this and many other technologies on the IntelliPad blog. You can just visit www.intellipad.com for the blogs. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPad provides online training on top trending programming languages mentored by industry experts. The course link is given in the description below.